Okay, when I saw this, the majority of my books are thrillers. I just knew I had to make this video. Hey guys, it's me Carol. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I have another really exciting video because I'm doing another installment in a little series here on my channel where I read celebrities' favorite books. I'm so excited. Today's celebrity is Lana Condor. She's an actress and I think her most popular role she's played was definitely in the To All The Boys I've Loved Before trilogy on Netflix. And she's just the sweetest little person ever. I love her. And when I found out she was a reader, I freaked out. Not only because, hey, common ground, but because she reads thrillers. Now, um, if you're new to my channel, my favorite genre is thrillers. I love to read thrillers. My little dark soul just loves to hear about people dying. But, but, every single celebrity I've read so far, I'll link the playlist if you want to check them all out. No one has read a thriller. And it hurt me because, like, I haven't read a thriller in a month. But when I found out her favorite genre was thrillers, I just knew I had to make this video. And the thrillers she has read and recommended are the ones that have been on my TBR for a super long time. So I can't wait to get to this video. I have a feeling I'm gonna love her reading taste so, so much. So basically how the series works is I'll just pick three books she has recommended and then I'll read them and get back to you guys with my thoughts. And we can talk about her reading taste in general. The first book, we're going to be reading is No Exit by Taylor Adams. Now, this book has been super talked about here on BookTube. All of my BookTube friends who have read this loved it, and apparently, it works for people who are like newbie to thrillers, but also thriller readers, which makes me so interested. Like, how can that work? I don't know. It sounds amazing. I've always wanted to get to this one, but I've been kind of scared that I won't like it. Like, I really want to like this book. I don't want to have an unpopular opinion. So I'm praying and hoping that maybe this one will work for me too. So from what I understand of this story, because I don't really like to know much about the thrillers I'm going to be reading before I go into it. Like, I like to go into it blindly. But from what I understand, it follows this main character who gets stuck in a road because of a snowstorm. And there's a car right by her side. And inside the car, there's a child inside a cage. And I think that's what happens. It sounds really interesting and I can't wait to get to it. I, I hope I love it. I hope I love it. I really, 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 really want to love it. So, yay! Yeah, you guys, this is the first book we're going to be reading. Well, let's do this. Okay, um, I finished reading and it was okay. You know what? I was expecting so much more from it after all the great reviews I've read. It was good. It kept me entertained. I wanted to finish it in one day. But, I know I could see a lot of the plot twists coming from like the beginning. I kind of knew what was going to happen. I don't know. It was kind of predictable in a way. This is so upsetting because I thought that I was gonna give it a five stars, and right now I'm feeling like either a two or a three. Hey guys, I'm back, and today we're going to be reading the second book for this video. Before we get to that though, let me just quickly recap what I had to say yesterday. I was kind of rambling on, that video isn't really helpful. In the end, I ended up giving No Exit three stars. It was an okay thriller, not anything super great or memorable in my opinion. So I ended up giving it three stars. It was okay, not my favorite. I think the main problem was I set my expectations really, really high for this book and I didn't reach it. So try to go with it. If you wanna read it, try to go with an open mind and just enjoy the ride. That's what I would say. And today I decided to take a break from thrillers. Who am I? I know, I just don't wanna be disappointed again. And we're going to be reading a, another type of book. 
So this book was mentioned in the Marie Claire bookshelf tour that Lana did. I'll link that video down in the description box if you guys want to watch it all the way through. I recommend it. It was really sweet and it had a lot of great recommendations. And this is what she had to say about it. This is a great little book that I oftentimes will keep in my purse when I'm traveling. It's called How to Love. And the book is How to Love by, okay, I'm going to really mispronounce his name and I'm so, so sorry. Chi Na Hung. It explores the essential foundations of mindful meditation and practice. How to Love shows that when we feel closer to our loved ones, we are also more connected to the world as a whole. He, Nat Han bring his signature clarity, compassion, and humor to the thorny question of how to love. You can only love another when you feel true love for yourself. Love is understanding. Understanding brings compassion and deep listening and loving speech are key ways of showing our love. It sounds really interesting. It's only 128 pages here on my Kindle because I don't have it here physically with me. And it sounds like it's going to be a, a quick easy book to get through it doesn't sound like self-help which i'm kind of glad because my experiences with self-help books in these videos are not really working so i'm glad for that so yeah um without further ado let's get some reading done i'm really excited and i hope you guys are too about things that are really necessary when you're having a relationship to make your relationship healthy it was really helpful but as i'm a single pringle this didn't really change much right now but but i think if big if i start a relationship i will want to reread this book before and during the relationship and there was a really fun part in this book where it's a literal checklist of things you need to ask yourself when you're in a relationship like 20 questions for looking into your relationship and if you can check these break up i really enjoy that and i'll definitely keep those little questions here with me for future relationship i really enjoy this book i'm gonna give it a five stars it's not really helpful for me right now but i can see why it can help people and that's one of the main reasons why i really enjoyed this book i think you can reread it multiple times during your life so it's a purchase that will be good for you it's not like you're gonna read it once and never pick it up again i think this book is literally so important to have you can keep it in your pocket, you can keep it in your purse, and whenever you feel discouraged or whenever you feel like you deserve better, you can pick this book up, read it, and then get the strength to make the right decision for yourself, which is always great. I'm really glad she recommended this. This was really interesting, and even though it does talk about meditation, if you're not into that sort of spiritual side of things, you can still get the information from this book i'll talk to you guys soon and yeah and i'm back with this final book we're going to be reading for this video and i'm scared so this book is a thriller and she posted this picture on her instagram stories she has a little template only for books which is super helpful thank you girl and this is what she had to say about it i have wanted to read this book i kid you not for like four years now and i'm really excited to finally get to this it sounds like it's a domestic thriller which is one of my faves and if she liked it, hopefully it will be better than No Exit because that one was something. So let me just quickly read what this book is about. Everyone knows a couple like Jack and Grace. He has looks and wealth. She has charm and elegance. He's a dedicated attorney who has never lost a case. She's a flawless homemaker, a masterful gardener and cook, and dotes on her disabled younger sister. Though they are still newlyweds, they seem to have it all. You might not want to like them, but you do. You're hopelessly charmed by the ease and comfort of their home, by the graciousness of their dinner parties they throw. You'd like to get to know Grace better. But it's difficult because you realize Jack and Grace are inseparable. Some might call this true love. Others might wonder why Grace never answers the phone, why she can never meet for coffee even though she doesn't work. 
How can she cook such elaborate meals but remain so slim? Why she never seems to take anything with her when she leaves the house, not even a pen? Or why there are such high security metal shutters on all the downstairs windows? Some might wonder what's really going on once the dinner party's over and the front door has closed. Ah, that sounds like a book I'm gonna love. Yeah, I'm really excited and hopefully this will be a fun ride. Ooh, let's get to it, shall we? <laughs> So I just finished reading Behind Closed Doors. I finished it in less than a day. As you can tell, I was pretty confused, but it was just like a, an ending I wasn't expecting, but it was good, it was good. I liked it, don't get me wrong, I liked it, but is it a thriller? I don't think so. I think it's more of like a family drama, maybe, than a thriller. I don't know, it had the thriller aspect, but it read more like a family drama. For me personally but i did still have a great time with it i still wanted to know how it would end do you feel like the ending was rushed uh like it, it all happened so fast it was okay not the best thriller i've ever read it was like any other domestic thrillers you know and the reason as to why the husband was doing all of these horrible things didn't really work for me i don't feel like it was well explained i don't think it worked with the story that well do i agree with lana when she probably said that picture on her stories like was it one of the best books no it was good but it wasn't the best most shocking thing i've ever read it was again like a forgettable thriller in my opinion it's something that i enjoyed at the time but i would never think of again i probably won't recommend to a lot of people and it probably won't come up again on my booktube channel because it was just meh <laughs> so yeah i finished reading all three of the books for this video if i were to rank them i would definitely go with how to love and then behind closed door and sadly the last one is no exit for me now let's talk about lana's reading taste and what i think of it uh, I think she has a very similar reading taste as to mine. If that's right, she reads thrillers because they're interesting, they're fun. They're a way to disconnect from reality and just insert yourself in another world where you can just pay attention even if it's only for one day and just want to know what's gonna happen, be immersed in the story, be interested, and be focused on something else rather than your own struggles, anxieties, and life, which is why I read thrillers. I love to read about the psychological part but i also love the distraction it gives us you know so i do think she reads for that particular reason and i do think she has a very diverse reading taste even though we had two thrillers if you look at her bookshelf tour you can see she has a lot of different genres as well so she's a very diverse reader and i did have a great time with this video even though some of the books didn't really work for me it's always fun and i just love these videos so so much so comment down below which celebrity i should do next i would love to know i'm planning on filming one video like this every single week if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to be part of this wonderful family i would love Love, love, love to have you here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.